Hi. Hi. I'm Miss Per Hi. I'm Mr. Per Hi. And we're going to do an experiment. Art experiment. You're going to need some cups. You're going to need food coloring, some dish soap, paper, pencil, water, and a straw. Remember, the first step is to always put your name on the back of your paper. We're not going to flip our papers over. We're actually going to set them aside for a little bit. We're going to grab our plastic cups and we're going to fill our cups up with one fourth cup of water. take your dish soap and you're going to give some generous squirts into your cup. I'm just going to make a big squirt in each cup. I'm going to set that aside because I'm done with it. You're going to take your food coloring and you're going to do about four to six drops in a cup. If you want to get really crafty, you could mix some of the colors, but I would just start with single colors first. food coloring on hand, you want to go ahead and grab your papers and your straw and you're going to literally start blowing bubbles in your cup. Remember, don't suck in your straw like you normally do. This time you're going to blow bubbles. The exact thing your parents probably tell you not to do at the table. Um, you're going to keep blowing the bubbles until you start to see some color in them. If there isn't any color in them, you can just simply grab the food coloring and add a few more dots into your bubbles. I'm gonna try to see. Um, I'm still having a hard time collecting the colors. I'm just gonna do what I just said. Add a little bit of more food coloring to my bubble mixture and I'm gonna keep blowing. Once I feel like I can see the color in my bubbles, I'm gonna set my paper on top of the bubbles, making what we call a bubble print. You can do this more than once. It kind of looks like a hydrangea flower. So you could really cut these out and make them really super beautiful. Josh is using green, and so I'm gonna actually dip some in his and see what happens. Wow, now that is really cool. experimenting so you really might not get anything the first go around but it'll be a beautiful oops keep trying and keep printing and see what happens I just want to encourage you that if you are going to do this project make sure you're choosing a space that you don't mind getting messy perhaps outside is a good place to do it or you could put a baking sheet underneath your cups in case they spill out onto the table I hope you had fun making bubble print making Thank you.